and the competing products. And let's move on to SWOT. SWOT. What is the name of the school? SWOT. So SWOT is one of the famous models, famous for its simplicity. Very, very famous. So with SWOT, you're analyzing internal and external environments. Analyzing the internal and external environment. So you have strengths, weaknesses, opportunities, and threats. <laughs> it's a very, very simple model. Then what are your strengths? Your strengths, I always remember that if you have SWOT, so I remember that SW relates to the internal environment. OT relates to the external environment. So you have SWOT. So your strengths are your your strengths are your internal, like the strengths you have internally in terms of your resources and your capabilities. You know, resources. Are, so a typical example of a strength would be your, the experience of your staff. The experience of your staff. That's a strength. That's a strength. Then your weaknesses are your, could be anything, any limitations you have internally. Um, any lack of resources you have internally. An example would be high attrition rates, high attrition rates of your experienced people. That could be a weakness. So you find out that in the company, a lot of people leave, they just leave. Experienced people, you train them, train them, train them, train them, train them, then they just move out. That's a weakness because it's happening internally internally or maybe um, employee dissatisfaction these are all weaknesses or poor company culture you know the culture in the company is poor or it's not good or it's toxic then you can you can um what do you call it you can You can put it under weaknesses. Then you move on to opportunities. Opportunities are things within the external environment that are advantageous to the um, that are advantageous to the company. So a typical example would be, let's say today, the president Nane Kufuado government comes out and says that oh. You know what? We've reduced company tax from 25% to 15. That's a big opportunity that came from the external environment. Opportunities could be several ways, several things, several things, you know, several things. Economic factors could exist in the external environment that the organization can take advantage of. Then you have threats. These are adverse risk in the external environment. Yeah. You know, maybe some competitor is trying to fight your business, trying to bring your business down. And these are all threats. So that's just about it for SWOT analysis. That's just it about for SWOT analysis. So that's just it about for SWOT analysis. Um, we talked about right the internal side of SWOT, right? But I wanted to highlight a few things. I wanted to highlight a few things um, that every organization has strategic capabilities. So you have um, core competencies that creates competitive advantage, you know, and that's a resource-based view of the organization. A resource. So what do I mean by resource-based view? It means that it shows you the chain of activities that causes the resources of an organization to drive strategy, or to drive strategic capability of the organization. So first of all, it starts with resources. The resources, when well-trained and well-honed, to become core competencies then these core competencies must be delivered appropriately to the necessary projects. 
you know. Then if they are delivered necessary to, or they are assigned to the necessary project, then that's when the organization begins to get competitive advantage. Then in that case, the resource becomes a strategic capability. So it starts from resource, moves to core competency, then delivery mechanisms, then competitive advantage, then strategic capability. So that's the resource-based view. The resource-based view is that it's how you use your resources to create competitive advantage or the ability to use one's competencies to create competitive advantage. Now let's look at the four piece. This is another model as well, or the marketing mix. The marketing mix, you know, the marketing mix. Customers have several, several um, needs from price to quality, et cetera. But the marketing mix um, gives you a simple model to capture, um, to capture your marketing mix. So it starts with your product. What product are you selling? What is the what are the features? What are the what is the quality? Then it's, you also have your price. You also have your price. You also have your price. So I need to change what's under the price and send it to you. But you have your price, you have your place. The place refers to the channels of distribution or the location. The channels of distribution or the location. Then you also have promotion, which is the way the product is adver advertised. So this is what we call the marketing mix. Yeah. For a successful marketing approach, you need to look at product, you need to look, you need to look at the right product, right price, right place, right promotion. So to the person who was asking um, the question around MTN, why are they successful? Um, one of the things you could look at is the marketing mix as well. You know, what kind of products are they designing compared to their competitors? What prices are they offering at it at? You know, later I'll be talking about pricing strategies. Then what are the, their channels of distribution? So what MTN began to do is, for example, they brought a SIM card to the doorstep of people. You'll be, you'll be sitting at your house and you see an MTA agent working, working selling SIMs. <laughs> you know, they won't let you come to the store. No, no, no. They are bringing the SIM card to you. That's place. That's channel of distribution. That's location. The way in which the customer obtains the product. Then their promotion strategies to a solid. You know, they understand the customer. They understand the Ghanaian what kind of adverts will reach out to them, et cetera. Yeah. So that's it for today. That's it for today. So um, that's it for today. So I don't know if you have any questions. Please, do you have any questions? Hello. Any questions, please? No. Okay. If there are no, if there, okay. If there are no questions, then um, thank you for coming. See you um, next yeah. week. Should we keep the time at? We are keeping the time at Friday, right? Yes, Friday. Yeah, Friday. Okay. So next week, Friday, God willing, see you. Thank you. Thank you too. Yes. Bye.